good morning good evening my friends how are you you are welcome in my channel and in case it is your first time to come here you are really welcome yeah actually this mic of mine sometimes it goes off and uh, i'm unable to know whether um, whether it's catching the audio or not that's why when i hold like this i'm able to check it whether it's, it's uh, on or off um yeah in case you like my contents remember to subscribe remember to share yeah today is a beautiful morning as you can see uh it really rained in the morning hour and uh now it stopped um my name is ato and uh, i just want to share with you uh many things that really happened in my concerning okay that affect my youtube and also many things that really god has done for me uh, as i told you last time in the other video uh, uh really i got my phone stolen uh some ladies put me in deep trouble and uh, by god's grace i was able to to come out of it they framed and they robbed me uh and also at the police uh the police also stole my phone but i was able to fight by god's grace and uh, i made the police to pay back my phone but i was unable to buy a phone that can make me shoot uh the what shoot a very good video like as in uh, concerning the text okay the text on the board because this phone i'm using uh, as i said before it cannot shoot uh, uh the text on the board uh yeah and uh, i cannot keep waiting and waiting and waiting for a better phone it may take me months or even a year if i'm to like save and get such a phone that can shoot text on the board clearly without any interference uh and uh, while waiting time is going my youtube channel is dying so I just have to change the niche and move with a niche that I can easily record the video even without the best camera ever. Okay? Yeah, uh, I really thank God that he was able to help me uh, win that battle. Yes. Uh, by the way, as it, when, when those girls got me in the, in the cell, uh i told them one thing okay i told them that i did not steal any of your thing because they actually they threw away their padlock according to how their friend told me she 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 threw away the padlock and uh and then they used my similar padlock which they they normally see in my house and uh, they this they proclaimed it to be theirs so they now they were turning against me against my padlock on me do i is it kind of clear turning against my padlock to be a witness yes to be a witness against me yeah so even the police failed to understand all only their aim was to put me in and steal my phone my expensive phone they did but i made them to vomit it okay yeah and uh okay i was saying that i told those girls one thing when i was still in the cell i told them it is not me who stole you you are putting my life in danger my life and my job in danger simply because you are just after your selfish gain but the lord will fight for me the lord is not a, my god is not a dead god that's what i told them my god is not a dead god 
my God is a living God. Yes, of course, I'll pay for your thing, but you wait and see the wrath of my God. That is what I was able to tell her. I told her that my God will fight for me. My God will fight for me. My God is not a dead God. <clears throat> but I will pay you, okay? I will pay you. And the same day I paid her the money, it is also the same. Same evening, not even the same day. Same evening I paid her the money. It is the same evening that she was crushed by a motorcycle. Okay? Yes, she didn't die, but she, she got some serious injury. And uh, and she couldn't work for a week. She couldn't work for a week. She was Even that money I, I paid her, she used it to treat herself. So even the money never helped her. In fact, you can see, that money never helped her. Yes, so God is not a dead God. God is a living God. He's a, he a warrior, He's a protector, provider, and He does everything that you need. Okay? He takes away all your sufferings. Yes. Uh, actually, um, I want you to know a little about me, really, how I see that God is calling me. Really. And I never wanted to talk about this and I kept this in me for a while, for long. Okay? Yeah. Uh, I remember back then when I was in primary school. Primary in Uganda is called... Uh, L no? Primary in, in, in those Western countries or America, you can say it to be elementary school. Okay? Elementary level. Uh, when you are like below 10 years old, after kindergarten, you come to elementary. Then when I was in elementary, I was below 10 or like 9, 8 years there. Uh, I really, I, 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 I felt my heart was connected with a heart of God. Okay. My heart was connected with the heart of God. And I used to pray a lot before God. I used to pray a lot before God back then i remember vividly when we were on the line and the teachers were beating us in the line checking our fingernails you know they put us in the line in front of a classroom something like a parade in front of a classroom they first make us march like 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 soldiers because uh it was a military boarding school okay it was a military boarding school and they first make us march like soldiers march 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 about turn, you turn around, uh, turn left, turn right, those kind of things, okay? Eh, like scouts, kind of soldier scouts, because we were the children of soldiers, okay? Yes, we were the children of soldiers. That school was only the, the school that belonged to, to the kids of the soldiers, okay? Yes. If, 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 like if your father serves in military, yeah, he could take you there and study for free, and that is what happened to to me uh, or i can say us me and my brothers and sisters no yeah sisters who join us later on uh and then after they start checking on your fingernail whether they're long or short when they're short they beat no no uh, when they're long they beat you up but when they're short yeah you survive they check on your hygiene they check on many things those who miss class and those who are shabby and then they could really beat us a lot you know they could beat us a lot a lot a lot so that was the moment when i felt like i need the protection of god they could beat us in the morning before we enter the class they check many criteria and also they could beat us in the evening after supper like um uh, around six o'clock seven o'clock okay seven o'clock to eight and nine they could check a lot of things those who who didn't work who escaped from 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 cleaning and uh, those because you no know, some of us the kids we don't want to work and uh, also they could wake us very up very early in, in the morning around around four four a.m and uh, the sleep is not enough you want to sleep so you, so after waking you up you go and 
and start working you go and start working mopping the house laying the bed picking the rubbish in the compound and doing many things then like some of us when when we woke up just we escape and we go find a convenient place to sleep until morning and then we, and until seven and then we go for breakfast so those who escaped and they went and slept somewhere the, such 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 pupils such or such a child can can only receive punishment in the evening there are so many things that could lead us to be kind and really that moment connected my heart to god okay yes i could pray a lot a lot before god and uh, and then when i turned 10 10 12 then up to 16 there i and one of my friends began a church in that school yeah we started a church and uh, by god's grace that church really worked a lot okay that church really worked a lot and uh, many pupils joined half of the school joined the church and we did ministry uh, unfortunately for me i couldn't read well i couldn't write also well but my colleague could read and write he was a, such a smart friend yeah he was such a smart friend he could read and write and write then um but me i could speak english okay by then but not also very well but it could it, it was uh, an understandable english so then uh, i could tell god that god you teach me how to read teach me how to write Teach me how to read so that I can read the Bible before the congregation or I can read for someone a Bible also when I'm preaching or sharing, fellowshipping, okay? And uh, with time, God taught me how to read. I also asked him, teach me how to write. God, I want to learn how to write. Maybe I can write scriptures. I can write your book. I can write something about you. Eventually, also God taught me that. So I could see that all whatever I have asked God for, He did it. Okay? Yes. I also asked Him, God, teach me how to speak English very well so that I can preach to the world. Okay? So that I can preach to the world. And with time, God did that. He taught me how to read, how to write, how to speak English. I also asked Him, God, teach me how to comprehend the scripture okay the scriptures how to comprehend the scriptures and uh he did that okay uh how did that come to happen in in 20 in 2014 okay 13 is when i met a certain group of people okay i met this group of people and uh i found out that they're from certain organization that takes missionaries abroad they bring missionaries in the country and also they take missionary from that country to other countries as well and also they train people to be pastors their own pastors and also other external pastors or in case you want to learn also the bible the heart of god you can also come and learn yeah then sorry guys then eventually i happened to to join them and they really taught me a lot they trained me and uh, on training me i found that my, i found myself in in rwanda as a missionary yes i found myself in rwanda as a missionary that was 2016 up to 2017 while i was in rwanda really i learned a lot about god about the heart of god about bible bible comprehension and uh, the will of god yeah that was the greatest moment in my life uh i left my country when i was not happy yeah i was depressed why was i depressed i was depressed simply because uh i had someone who was uh, okay i had a sponsor who wanted to relocate me to the u.s and i've been with her in uganda for like for three years okay yeah she she financed my education all the way from high school i finished high school 
and then she wanted me to go to the US for university and she would accommodate and pay for everything. But eventually, uh, when now it was her time to leave, we were supposed to live together, uh, I got visa rejection after visa rejection and uh, it tortured me a lot, depressed me, made me sick. Uh, and then I, I lost hope. I even wanted to kill myself, you know. But by God's grace, that was even within those two years, I was able to meet this organization and uh, they taught me more about God, the will of God, the heart of God. And I got to realize that me not going to the U.S. could be the will of God. Maybe God have seen something that was going to affect me or kill me in the U.S. And then he, he stopped me from going. But however much, that visa rejection treated me horribly. Its impact was so dangerous in my life. I suffered. And, 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 and I'm still now still suffering, but I'm not suffering now because of that. I'm just suffering because of the situation in the country. Yeah, but not because of the visa anymore. The visa just caused me depression, sickness, loss of weight, anxiety, and many more. But when I went to Rwanda, all those problems were solved. The word of God really even made me fat, healed me in general. I was healed. I became more healthy and much more better. I I was renewed. Okay? Yes. I was renewed. And then when I came back in the country, back from Rwanda to, to, to Uganda, I really came back when I learned a lot of things. I came back and I was ready to be enrolled as a pastor in that church or in that organization but I wasn't interested in serving the, the gospel in their organization yeah I was only interested in serving the gospel on my own okay maybe go and get some more training from them and then do my own serve the gospel and get the guidance of God yeah uh, yawning. Maybe I need water. Yeah. Uh, God taught me, from there, God taught me how to complain the scriptures and uh, many more things. Yeah. Uh, and also, when I saw God fighting for me in each and every situation, both good and bad, I, I really become so thankful for him. And also what happened to my channel? What happened to my channel? All those challenges that were brought to me recently on May by those girls. Uh, uh, maybe it's the will of God for me to change the niche. Okay? That serves him. Yeah. Maybe it's to change the niche that serves him. And uh, who am I to reject that? Okay? Yes. I only pray that... Let it be that by his will and by his grace for his audience to come and subscribe and view these contents that contains his words so that they can be renewed and their life can be changed. Because the scripture says that God has already done everything for us and he has already planned everything for us, planned and done everything for us. So it's just upon us now to accept and receive it because we are his children a love a loving father ha has a plan for his kid and he always does things for his children and so our heavenly father he has already done that just just us to receive the grace and his favor yes and take what he has done for us um that is all I wanted to share with you. Actually, today, God has done a lot, a lot for me. And uh, this channel, it will simply be for serving Him and glorifying Him. Yes. Uh, I would like 
to say bye and i will be able to see you in the next video